In this lesson, we are going to learn how to size the pipe network of a standpipe or fire hose system. Here you can see a typical wet standpipe system. Before we start, let's recall two important theories we learned in lesson 1. First, for class 1 and class 3 systems, the required flow for hydraulically most remote riser is 500 GPM, and all other risers shall be 250 GPM per riser, with total flow not to exceed 1250 GPM. Second, for class 2 systems, the required flow is 100 GPM, no matter how many riser we have. The easiest way to size the piping system is to use table 7821 below, which was extracted from NFPA 14 2003 edition. From this table, knowing the water flow and the distance from furthest outlet connection, you can select the pipe nominal size. Let's see an example. We have here a building with six class 3 fire hose connection risers. I will start the sizing of risers first, then I will size the main pipes connecting the risers. Given below the distance from the pump to the most remote outlet on each riser. Solution is as follows. For riser F, the flow is 500 GPM, being the most remote riser. The length to most remote outlet is 290 feet. So from the table the required pipe size is 6 inches. For riser E, the flow is 250 GPM, which is the flow in all risers other than riser F. The length to most remote outlet on riser E is 240 feet. So from the table the required pipe size is 6 inches. For riser D, The flow is 250 GPM. The length to most remote outlet on riser D is 190 feet. So from the table the required pipe size is 6 inches. For riser C, the flow is 250 GPM. The length to most remote outlet on riser C is 140 feet. So from the table the required pipe size is 6 inches. For riser B, the flow is 250 GPM. The length to most remote outlet on riser B is 90 feet. So from the table the required pipe size is 4 inches. For riser A, the flow is 250 GPM. The length to most remote outlet on riser A is 40 feet. So from the table the required pipe size is 4 inches. For the main pipe feeding all risers, the flow is the sum of 500 GPM in riser F and 250 GPM in each of the other five risers. So the total is 1750 GPM. But since the total not to exceed 1250 GPM, then 1250 GPM to be considered. 
No matter the pipe length, the size should be 6 inches as per the pipe schedule table. Now, because the pump main is 6 inches and riser F is 6 inches, then all main pipes in between, highlighted in red, shall be 6 inches. Thanks for listening. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos.